Our presentation today, obviously, that you signed up for is civil project upgrades. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the purpose, first of all, of this presentation. It is certainly Bentley's recommendation that users always move to the latest commercially available versions of software. Now, that certainly is not just a Bentley thing. If you talk to probably any software vendor, that's just a best practice recommendation. And there's reasons for that, right? For example, uh, security. Uh, it makes sure that you're you know, taking advantage of the latest security upgrades, enhancements and fixes. It, it makes sure that you've got access to the latest defect fixes. So you're not in an older version where you have to work around something. It, you're taking advantage of the latest enhancements. So it's in everybody's best interest if we can move to the latest commercially available version of software. And sometimes when you do that, of course, that is going to require upgrading your project data. And so that's what we really want to focus on today in this presentation is some of the best practices when you have when you run into the need to upgrade your project data to a newer versions of open side, open roads or open rail. This presentation, we're going to kind of do this in three parts. First thing we're going to do is talk about major and minor releases, just so we're clear about the differences here. And then we're going to get right into the meat of our topic, which is upgrading project files. And then we're going to look at workspace updates. What, what happens if I've also updated my workspace? How do I apply those workspace updates across my project? So that'll be kind of our agenda this morning. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. If you want to see more like it, please consider subscribing to this and Bentley's other channels. Thank you and see you next time.